Hello everyone, this is Rishi from Pitch Innovations and today I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of our brand new plugin, Fluid Cards. We all have tons of sounds and plugins that we already own, but what we really need is innovative and inspiring ways to use them and that's exactly where Fluid Cards comes in. Fluid Cards is a powerful tool that allows you to bend from any chord to any chord so you can create music that's never been heard before. So, I've just installed Fluid Chords and I'm going to open it up in my DAW. Fluid Chords uses MP synths to deliver chord bending. So, let's just quickly scan for all the MP synths in my system by opening the Plugin Scanner app in the Synth menu. This is only a one-time setup and will be done in just a few seconds. There are lots of synths like Serum, Equator, Pigments and Falcon that support MP. If you don't have any MP synths, we highly recommend downloading the free Search XT synth to get you started. Once the scanning is complete, I can view all my MP synths right here. So I'm going to quickly load up a patch that we've made for Search XT. In the chords menu here, we can see all the different chord pieces that we have to use with Fluid Chords. So I'm going to quickly choose one of them. So let's look at a quick demo. Let's talk about one of my favorite parts of the GUI, the colorful chord triggers. Fluid Chords comes with 8 chord triggers that you can use to record and trigger chords. You can also right click on them for additional functions. You can either start with the chord presets right here or you can also input your own chords and store them as well. To input my own chords, I'm going to hit the learn button on the top right corner here. The blinking indicator tells us which trigger is ready to learn. I can either record them using my MIDI keyboard or enter them manually using the virtual keyboard below. So let's play some chords to begin with. As soon as the chord is recorded, you can see that the trigger goes to the fill state here. So I'm going to finish recording the rest of my chords and come out of the learn mode. Once the chords are recorded, they are automatically mapped to the C1, C2 octave on my MIDI controller. Now that the chords are recorded, you can bend between them like this. Now, let's talk about the different modes in Fluid Chords. The first one that we have here is the Fixed Mode. In this mode, the chords stored in your adjacent triggers are automatically selected to be your pitch pen up or down chords. So, let's say I'm playing the chords stored in D. Now, if I pitch pen up, I'm going to go to the chords stored in E. Now, if I pitch pen down, I'm going to go to the chords stored in C. You can also see this in a beautiful 3-lane MPU visualizer. So, the middle lane represents the home chord that I'm playing. The top lane represents the target chord I reach when I pitch pen up. And the bottom lane represents the target chord I reach when I pitch pen down. This is a simple and intuitive way to visualize the magic of fluid chords. So secondly, we have the fluid mode. This mode allows you to choose your target chord on the fly without having to re-trigger the chords so that you can fluidly travel between all the chords in your progression. All I have to do is choose any home chord. And now I'm going to select D to be my target chord whilst I'm still holding the home chord. Now that I've reached the chord stored in D, I can now travel from this chord to any other chord in this progression. So let's try F. So, using the same method, we can travel between the rest of the chords in this progression. If I want to go back to the home call, 
All I have to do is re-trigger the target call. So as you can see, we reached the home call, which was C. And finally, we have the real-time mode, which allows you to perform fluid chord bending in real time. For this mode, all you have to do is play a chord and hold down the sustain pedal. Now, my home chord is set. From here, I can play any other chords and use my pitch pen to perform fluid chord bending in real time. Finally, let's look at the settings menu in Fluid Chords. The Show Transpose toggle enables the transpose counter for each of the chord triggers. If you want to transpose all the triggers at once, you can use the global transpose function. We also have the help text which are like short tutorials if you want to learn what every specific button on the plugin does. And that is a quick walkthrough of a plugin Fluid Chords. For more information and audio demos, you can visit pitchinnovations.com. Thanks for watching.